If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see about brand new JMeter plugin called Featherwand, which I developed today, and I'm going to uh, release it to JMeter Plugins Manager uh, pretty soon. So this is a, a world's first uh, JMeter agent uh, for the performance engineers. So this Featherwand will help you to interact with the AI model, uh, particularly Claude and its uh, models, where you can ask questions about uh, JMeter uh, and also it will help you to uh, optimize your test plan and troubleshoot and uh, you can uh, uh, improve your uh, JMeter test plan uh, productivity uh, pretty much uh, uh, very fast. So this uh, Featherwand, uh, the name comes uh, from my kids, uh, thanks to them. So after watching Bluey, uh, they gave this name for this uh, plugin. And now let us see the features of the uh, Featherwand and then we can uh, see it in action. So as I mentioned uh, before, so this is the uh, first uh, JMeter agent and you can uh, chat with AI directly uh, within the JMeter. So there is no need to context switch between the browser and JMeter. You can directly ask your questions within JMeter and get answers. And you can ask about your JMeter test plan. You can ask about the element. You can ask about uh, Groovy scripting and so on. And also I have developed something called uh, uh, at this command. So this will help you to get a detailed information about the current selected element from your JMeter. And also you can customize your uh, AI behavior uh, by changing the uh, properties in the uh, JMeter properties file. So before we see it in action, I would like to highlight uh, this disclaimer and the best practices. So I have to put this, you know, at the very first note, AI can make mistakes and may provide incorrect information. So it is always uh, important to check the responses before you use it in uh, production. And also always take a backup of your test plan uh, because sometimes it may add the element in not in the right place you know, that will uh, uh, not validate the test plan uh, properly. So you may face issues while running in the uh, production. So always uh, take a, a backup of your test plan so that you can compare uh, between the uh, AI generated one and uh, with yours. And also verify the element and its order. So it is very important. Sometimes, as I said, it may add in the uh, not appropriate place. I have embedded some basic checks, but it's not you know, uh, fully uh, bulletproof. So please uh, verify your uh, test plan and its order. And also it may impact your performance based on the responses we generate uh, from the, uh, you know, backend and uh, always uh, monitor the usage of network and memory, particularly increase your heap memory so that it will not go to a not responding status. And mainly important security, do not ask questions whenever you have something like password or API key embedded in your test plan. So always delete it because sometimes the context is your element. So it may send the properties of the element to the backend which you don't want. So please always delete, remove all the sensitive information from your test plan before you use this plugin. I'm not responsible uh, for any such uh, you know, damage. And also API costs. Again, you need to put some guardrails on your Anthropic account, multiple guardrails, and uh, because sometimes the tokens may exceed the actual usage, sometimes it's very less. So please always keep an eye on your API uh, cost usage. Okay, now next, uh, let us see about the configuration. So if you go to the uh, JMeter AI sample properties, so here, as you see, these are some of the properties you may need to configure, mainly the API key and rest all are, you know, kind of optional, but recommended is to follow this structure. So you can uh, change the model, but default model to use. For example, you can uh, use the uh, three sonnet, but I prefer 3.5 or 3.7 for the improved accuracy. And also the temperature and the history size. Again, this history size, keep it you know, at least uh, between five to 10. Uh, don't keep like 100, 
you know sometimes uh, it may crash or it will use more uh, cost for you so always uh, play around between 5 and 10 so that it will know the context not too much not less it is relevant for your uh, conversation history whenever you face some issues you always start a new conversation and start over and also the uh, system prompt so this is very important so this system prompt i focused on jmeter uh, do not change this uh, prompt you can change uh, but it is not recommended for example if you ask something related to python uh, it may not uh, respond because the prompt is telling focus on jmeter and its related you know aspects if you ask something irrelevant it will not ask it will not uh, respond so if you want to you know uh, change the behavior of course you can edit and restart jmeter it will respond but i do not recommend it so it's a pretty much uh, you know very elaborated uh, you know prompt but again you can also edit this based on your requirement now let us go back and let us uh, check other uh, aspects of this plugin so as you see here uh, there are uh, special plugins i embedded so one is uh, uh, at this command so this command will help you to know more about the current selected element you can ask more about uh, why it is being used how you can optimize and best practices and so on so this will help you to improve uh, further so you will take your productivity to the uh, next level so these are the few things you need to keep in mind before you start using this uh, plugin so how to use this plugin so go to uh, releases and download this jar and keep it in your uh, library slash ext folder and restart your jmeter main thing is you have to fill the api key in the properties and make sure it is in your gmeter properties or user properties and place this jar and restart your gmeter so this is how you use uh, this uh, gmeter plugin to improve your productivity now let us see it in action so after downloading the featherwand jar file please place it in the library slash ext folder under your gmeter and fill the gmeter properties with the right values api key importantly and restart your jmeter once the restart is done you can see in the toolbar the uh, toggle ai chat panel button so you just uh, click the right side you can get the new pane called featherwand jmeter agent and you can also resize this particular pane towards left and right and also you can uh, collapse this pane and also you can uh, expand this pane so after you've done you know uh, installing and everything first thing you need to open this particular view results tree so here as you see it is populating the logs which will help you to debug in case if there is any error occurs so this also will display some important logs regarding the model token etc we are going to see it now um, let me clear this particular log and this particular pane is very self-explanatory at the top right you can see the plus button where you can start the new conversation and at the bottom left, you can see the drop down, which will list out the all the active models of cloud. So choose the model you want to use for the particular message. Uh, you can choose between multiple models. So I prefer to choose uh, either 3.5 Sonnet or 3.7 Sonnet. So once you select, you can see the appropriate logs. And here you will have a input box and also there is a send button. So now let me start with very simple, you know, hello world kind of a thing. So hello, how can you help me? And hit enter. So this will send this particular intent to the backend and then it will process the request and then it will get back the response. And here, it, as you see, it will display some message about the Jmeter expert assistant dialogue and then it will display some information about the response. So here you can ask, about some sample questions and you can uh, ask about your JMD test plan and so on, which we are going to see it right now. And also it will display for every message, some set of suggestions based, based on your current context. So here it is asking you to add some tech group, a header manager, a CSV dataset config, results tree, and so on. So typically what we do, we just, you know, right click add the group, the group, right? So, so let us delete this particular element and select this test plan and here you can ask uh, add a 
the group in a natural uh, language processing. So once you hit enter, it will automatically add the group to your test plan. And then it will display the suggested elements that you can add to this particular element. So let us click on add HTTP request and add HTTP request might need say a response session and so on. So like this, you can keep adding based on the suggestions. So I have focused only the essential elements, not everything because Gmeter is a very huge uh, collection of elements. So I did not focus each and everything, uh, just uh, essential elements. And instead of asking one by one, you can also ask something very uh, serious. You know, first let me ask, add a thread group and HTTP request and a timer and hit enter. So this will add a third group. It will add a HTTP request and it will add a constant timer. So this also is possible, you know, based on your requirement. So not necessarily you can ask one thing at a time. You can ask a series of things at one shot. Now let me delete this and let me clear the conversation and let me ask something, you know, groovy scripting. So give me simple groovy to list out all the jmeter uh, vars so now this will give us very simple groovy script which will list out all the jmeter vars so that one you can copy and you can directly use it in your uh, jsr223 so as you see here it is listing the groovy script and you can just copy this and also you can simply add some JSA 2 to 3. You can paste it here and then you can go through the script. So this will work as is, but make sure it is what you are expecting and you can also debug. And once you're happy, you can use it in your test plan. So this is how you can use the Gmeter agent very quickly without context switching. Otherwise you have to go to browser, ask, copy, paste here, run, but everything embedded within uh, Gmeter. Okay, now let me explain about something about uh, act this command. So you can select some uh, element, for example, HTTP request, and you can ask at this, tell me about this element. So this will give us the information about the HTTP request, what it will do, how you can use it, and so on. So this will be very helpful if we, in case we want to know more details about the particular element. Of course, we have the help, but we can ask AI to summarize that particular node. So this also will be very helpful for people who are very new to Jmeter. So you can ask, say, for example, let me add something JSON extractor. So you can ask, uh, at this, can you uh, give me the JSON path extractor to extract the root element so now what it will do it will fetch the relevant information about the json extractor and its path expression and then it will give you this response so you can use this particular values as is in your jmeter test plan so this is how you can use this feather band so that you can improve your productivity you can optimize your test plan debug your test plan and enhance your test plan within without leaving the jmeter since we are talking about optimization so what we can do we can ask can you please you can we don't need to use please can you optimize this you know don't waste uh, tokens so just be a point to when you talk to a so can you optimize so this will think and then it will display the relevant context about the jmeter test plan and then it will display the you know message so right now it is giving uh, key optimizations, a simplified expression. So based, because we selected the particular uh, you know element, the test plan have has this context. That's why it is giving this output. So like this, you can play around with this agent, and you can also let me know if you face any issues, raise defects. Definitely, this is not the best yet. There's a lot of room to improve, but it somehow it will help you. Uh, in your Gmeter productivity. So please uh, try this and let me know uh, if you have, if you need any particular feature you want to uh, immediately implement, I will try to do that as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.
If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.